Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a set of Corsa mods. So installing a set of Corsa on PC, really, you want to be modding it. Um, it's savage. You can't do it on console, unfortunately. I'm no master or expert at doing all this stuff. Uh, I've only really started doing it properly in the past few months. So this video is kind of uh, for friends that want to get started so I can at least show them and not have to show multiple times just the way I did it, the way I've learned to do it. I found it pretty hard because there's lots of information in different places but once you kind of do it it's pretty simple. So this is going to be a complete beginner's tutorial of how to install mods on a set of Corsa and a few other essentials I think that are a good starting place and at least once you have all this stuff you'll know what questions to ask and how to develop on different kind of um, settings within all this. First things first, you're gonna need a set of Corsa. I would say to get the Ultimate Edition because for example, I wanted to play on the No Hezi. So by getting the Ultimate Edition, you have all them already. Um, I think you can get it in a pretty cheap bundle um, by getting it all together. You can go to those other websites for keys and stuff, but on Steam it is relatively cheap. So get this edition, download it, install it, then you're good to go. So. On to the next thing. Next up, what you're going to need is Content Manager. This is gonna be the launcher for a set of Corsa. You must be signed into Steam when you have this open. We're gonna get into that, but always be signed into Steam. So if you try to join, click the go button down here, for example, and your game's not working, it's probably because, you know, when you open up Steam, you gotta click on your icon just to sign in or something like that. You need to be signed into Steam for this to work. But once you have this set up, this is how you're gonna interface. You have your cars, you have online servers, you can drive, you have your content, you have your settings, you have different weather settings and stuff that's dependent on other mods, but we'll get to that. So we wanna scroll down on this page and we're gonna download this here. Here's one I made earlier. Um, this here. So you're gonna get this latest folder. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is extract this folder. So right click, extract all. Here it's going to download, go into my downloads folder and become a normal folder. And then you're going to want to double click on content manager and we're going to run it. This is the install. So here's your Steam. So you want to make sure you have the correct Steam ID. You want it linked. You're going to have to find your Aceta Corsa root folder. If this isn't here, this is exactly where it is and where it always will be across all systems. In your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common a set of Corsa. This is where all your games go in general, in Steam apps. So that's a pretty important folder to remember. I'll show you what it looks like here now, but um, there. So Steam, scroll down, Steam apps, common, a set of Corsa. So because we already have it, that's where it's gonna go. This is your name, this is my name. Um, do you wanna create a shortcut to the start menu? We'll create one. Now you wanna install all this stuff. 7-Zip is important, we're going to need that because you're gonna need that for some fancy weather effects in the, in the future. So we're gonna install that. Um, all these guys you can install. They're pretty small files, but they're required to run this. So we're just gonna keep it all super happy. This isn't available, but I'm sure it's not gonna catch fire without it. So here we go, CEF Sharp. All these guys are here, we're gonna press okay. Done. So here we are. Switch to full version. I believe I already do have a key somewhere, so we're not gonna worry about that now. If you do wanna get the full version, we're gonna quickly check here. Um, I believe it's very cheap and it's the best money you'll ever spend. So let me check, it's $5 and that gives you a lifetime key. Um, I do have that key somewhere in my emails. So yeah, that's how you can do that. But we're just gonna continue on as we are. This is content manager. So you have lots of different things around Here's all these different features. You have settings, you have your content. Uh, this is where you can download all your mods and stuff. I already have a few installed. Um, I did uninstall this though to show you what the clean install looks like. And here you have some mods. Uh, this is where your mods are gonna be all coming into. So now we have content manager. The next thing we're gonna need is CSP. So let's jump over to there. Again, all these links are down below. So you can quickly find them. We're gonna go to CSP, download it, and I'll show you how to install that. We are going to install Custom shaders patch. I'm gonna show you about Pure, and if you do wanna get that, and then I'm gonna kind of briefly mention how to get Rain. Um, that's a bit more complex in itself, and it's not necessarily needed just to get into modding a set of courses. So we're, you know, when we talk about modding, we're talking about cars and tracks. Then once you get into customizing the shader and customizing weather, there's a few extra things you need to, and you do need a kind of paid preview for that. But not jumping the gun, custom shaders patch, make sure you had 7-zip installed from the previous previous install. If not, there's a link down below. Likewise, all these links I say are down below. 
So we're gonna click here. We're gonna download the latest recommended version. I'm gonna hop to our downloads. So this for us is Lights Patch 1.79. So we're gonna extract that and make sure we open it with 7-zip file manager. I've done that, I've pressed always. So now that pops up like here. I'm gonna right click this, I'm gonna extract all, and I'm gonna choose my Aceta Corsa directory. So here we are, um, program files x86. We're gonna scroll down to Steam, Steam apps, common, Aceta Corsa, click it, press select folder, extract it there. That's it. So cars and tracks. Um, Aceta World is a great place to come for cars and tracks. There's lots of other websites too. Make sure you choose a reputable and a very safe website because these will send you to some pretty uh, suspect download links. For example, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS here. We're going to click on that, scroll down. There's a download button here. And here's a link. You just click on that, generate a link. In general, these are the way you're going to have to download most mods. They are uploaded on these kind of hosting websites. Um, find whatever mods you want tracks and stuff you know there's a heap of tracks and then we're going to come to our downloads folder and here they are so here's some i made earlier this is the porsche this downloaded on weird weird file name but if we look here that's it and i also have a local race track for me so we're going to open up content manager so there's two ways to install mods it's not difficult at all we can drag and drop we see a green arrow up here click on it and then we just press install very very quick affair super super easy it's installed here's the car i already had it so i was cheating there but here is mondello park we'll try that again and then oh no it doesn't work something wrong so we're gonna have to install it the second way manually which is still just as easy we're gonna extract all which basically means we're unpacking it from its compressed state and we are going to browse here and we are going to come to a set of courses, Steam apps, common, all this. This is the exact route. And we're going to come to content. And here we have cars and tracks. And we're going to put it in tracks, extract it, replace files in this destination. I probably should have had this closed, but it's never been an issue for me before having it open. And it's already here. I already have it, but that's exactly how you do it. You rinse and repeat that. In general, people say to manually install mods. I've never, ha I've never really have an issue with dragging and dropping. For Mandelo Park, I have, but in general, most of my mods are kind of let's say mainstream mods. They all work by just dropping the, uh, dropping the .zip file straight in the content manager, pressing install. Likewise for joining public servers, you know, you click the links, they automatically send files, so they actually download, and then you install it, and it all happens up here. So that's basically how you do it. Here's your custom car. You can change your car. You just search for whatever you um, got. Here's the no hezi spec. Um, I have a lot of stuff downloaded from, let's say, different uh, different servers online. So quite a lot of cool cars um, you can get just by joining a Discord and pressing download all, you know, so or looking for a server. But I'm going to make videos about that in the future because I did find it hard myself just to learn the basics of how to get a track. How to get a car you know when you're not used to it it can be quite difficult um and that's pretty much it i would just exercise caution when downloading stuff online you know be careful not to download some bad files um only use stuff that's been either you know kind of referenced or, or linked by someone you trust like a youtuber or something like that not that you should trust a youtuber but like you know what i mean I, i'd like to think most decent content creators won't send their viewers off a cliff so <laughs> yeah but again, there's lots of settings in here. Pure Candy can be used in the video settings under a set of Corsa. The CSP settings, you can, as I said, there's so many different presets online you can find. This is just to get you set up, going. You have Content Manager, you have CSP, you have Pure. If you chose to get it, you don't have to. And you have Cars and you have Tracks. So I remember when I was starting out, it took me a while to get to that point. Probably longer than it should have, but hey. Hopefully this video has helped you. If you have any questions about that, let me know down below. Um, I am going to make a few more videos in this series because I have had a few people asking me how to do certain things on a set of Corsa because it can be quite complicated. And again, I'm no, I'm no master at all this, but hopefully this video has helped you out. And if it has, let me know down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Happy hunting, guys.